Hey guys, Sasha from NetbookNews.com and I'm using my Galaxy Nexus and as you might have seen during the Google I.O. 2012 keynote, they've been rolling out now. They've been not rolling it out right now, but Android Jelly Bean, Android 4.1 is coming to the Google Nexus uh, in the mid of July. The interesting thing is that I could already find this uh, custom ROM or Jelly Bean uh, at, on the XDI developers forum and on the ROM manager of the Clockwork mod. So I've been installing it and uh, we're doing like a little walkthrough right now. So let me just show you what this looks like. Well, first of all, what you notice over here is um, that the lock screen changed a little bit. We have this little Google text here and it just, um, hold on, let me just uh, turn off the light and change the contrast of the camera a little bit. Here we go. That looks way better. So this one brings you to Google Now. Google Now helps you to organize yourself in terms of um, getting your calendar connected to it and connected with Google Maps. So if you're setting up meetings, it's going to show you, hey, you might want to get on the cab or on your, uh, on your subway just to make sure that you can make the meeting and all stuff. I have to admit that I haven't really played around with Google now, right now. Um, I'm definitely going to do this, but I would love to show you a little bit about the fundamental features of Jelly Bean. First of all, the animation is absolutely butter smooth, and that's why it's also called Project Butter. So they've added extra frames for each and every animation, and um, it makes the Google Nexus uh, kind of having a new operating system. Well, of course, it is a new operating system. It feels like a new phone to me. So as you can see, this looks absolutely gorgeous. And when I'm opening an application, I watch out how fast this is. There we go, bang. That's the new Google Plus application and it looks absolutely stunning. Let's switch it over to landscape mode. There you go. This gives you an idea how it's going to look like on a tablet. Well, actually, We've been just doing a video of the tablet version of how it looks and feels on a tablet. Let me go back to the front uh, desk here and let me show you the new notification. Now that's really cool because, um, I mean, Google has been kind of, I wouldn't say inventing, but they were the very first one to put this notification bar on a mobile operating system and they've been heavily tweaking it and improving it over the last couple of years. And well, they've been bringing this to a new level right now. Let me show you something here. Look at this. So with two fingers, I can just close this and open this again and you can see uh, the last couple of new messages here. The other cool thing is what I can do, and this is, in my opinion, one of the most important features of the new notification bar. Um, there's a method where I can kind of stop notification bar spamming, especially for those guys that are using Path. You're getting a new little icon for each and every Path update, and it's so annoying. Okay, let me show you something. Let's head over here to, um, oops, let's go back. Okay, now we need to choose another one. Um, how about the Facebook one? Just hold it and then you have the app info. And then you can switch the notification on and off for each and every app. So this really helps you to control yeah, your notification spam. Um, another cool thing is uh, it also comes with a couple of new apps. I've been showing you already the improved Google Plus app but what about um, YouTube over here? I'll take a look at this. That's the new YouTube app. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Google+. Plus. Can you see this here? Enable preload for uninterrupted playback even on slow networks. That's absolutely fantastic. So you can already pre-buffer, preload, uh, complete videos. And uh, even when you're offline, you can watch them then. And over here are a couple of uh, channels I've been subscribing to. And um, yeah, it's a completely new look and feel. Let's just um, try this little video here. Let's see if anything changed in terms of the layout of the YouTube app in general here, or when it comes to um, the playback itself. And obviously I could really use um, this pre-buffering right now. 
because even though that I'm on a Wi-Fi, a very fast Wi-Fi network, it doesn't really seem to work here. Quite interesting. Maybe I'm just having problems with it right now. Let's try this. Okay, that's dark. Anyways, just trust me, it's been working on my 3G without any problems. So maybe we're just facing some Wi-Fi problems at the moment. Um, just to prove that I'm really running Android um, Jelly Bean, that you can see it's Android version 4.1. Another major update came to the Google Maps application because right now it's supporting offline maps. Let me show you one thing. So we are here in Taipei. Unfortunately, it's um, not having any offline maps for Taipei right now. I would just click make available offline, right? And then I'm uh, panning and zooming into an area. But over here you can see offline maps is not available in the selected area. So I'm just canceling this. And um, maybe let's search for New York. Okay. Well, it seems like I'm really having a problem right now, but that doesn't matter because I've been storing already a bunch of um, offline maps. So I'm just clicking on this one here and um, then I'm going to my places and to offline. And there we go. So I've been downloading an offline map from Berlin and I've been downloading an offline map from Los Angeles. And now I can just click in here and uh, I could just navigate through Los Angeles uh, while I'm offline. Let's switch, um, let's go to settings here and um, let's switch on the airplane mode and let's go back. Here we go. Let's skip. And now you can see when I'm completely offline right now. And whatever is in the square got downloaded. Here we go. Let's see if it's even showing 3D buildings. Nope, unfortunately not. But it's good enough for navigating around Los Angeles. So this is definitely really cool. Um, so these are just a few updates that um, Jelly Bean got. Uh, first of all, what you immediately notice is the amazing performance of it. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love how much performance it's squeezing out of this TI OMAP 4 series, this dual core one. It actually feels faster than my Samsung Galaxy S3. Another fantastic update, of course, um, the notification bar. That's just a killer, right? There's no other operating system right now that is offering you anything like this. I can also interact with the application right out of the uh, notification bar without even opening the notification, uh, sorry, the application itself. Um, I've been showing you voice. It, it just works perfectly. And you know what? This is also stored locally. So you don't need to have a location with any kind of server. You don't need to have an additional little piece of hardware like Apple. Uh, has with their iPhone 4S. Um, it just works absolutely perfectly. But I tell you one thing, I'm just not a, a, a real user of this voice search. You're playing around with it for the first couple of days. But besides that, I'm just not using it anymore. As I said, the performance is great. Um, the additional features with the notification bar, um, the additional features with uh, the offline maps, the way that I can set up or uh, if apps should show notification in the notification bar or not. Um, this definitely makes me want to have Jelly Bean on each and every device or each and every Android device that I own right now. So that's the first impression of Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. I'm Sasha for NetbookNews.com. Thanks for watching.